Hey everybody, welcome back. Video number two, five minute mark. Um, this video, we're going to be focused on the strength. So the last video, we talked about the DRS system, discover your truth, rock your greatness, serve the world, um, which is all about the sweet spot. How can we discover our passions, our interests, our unique gifts and strengths, and give them into greater service to the world uh, while making a kick-ass living. Uh, again, we're going to focus on this video on the strengths, to discover our strengths. And we're going to use um, a resource called the VIA Signature Strengths Assessment. V-I-A, which stands for Virtues in Action. And this work was done by a guy named Martin Seligman, which you guys may be familiar with. He's been deemed the father of po positive psychology. He's a professor out of Penn State, I believe. He's written a number of books that you might have heard of, one called Authentic Happiness, another one called Learned Helplessness, and a third one more recently called Flourish. Um, and Martin Seligman, his work again is all about positive psychology and it was really introduced around the year 2000 and what's interesting about the psychology and psychology movement um, was that all through the 20th century most of the research done around psychology had to do with the negative aspects of people basically like you're broken you're unhealthy so how do we get you from um, a negative 10 back to zero which is baseline so if we imagine like a continuum uh, running along the screen here, right across the screen, and baseline is at zero. All the research in the 20th century, not all, but pretty much all, they said that um, for every 100 articles written in psychology in the 20th century, 100 of them had to do with the negative aspects, one had to do with the positive aspects. And what I mean by that is that in the negative aspects, people are broken, they need help, they have mental disorders, they have depression, whatever it may be. So they may be at a negative five, negative seven, negative 10. What can we do to help them get back to baseline so they can be functioning in society? Well, that's great, that's fantastic. We absolutely need that research. But Martin Seligman came in the picture and he said, what about the people who are already at baseline? What about those people? How do we take them from a zero to a positive 10, 20, 30, and 100, and so on. How do we help these people, or all people in general, because we believe everybody is whole, um, that they have the infinite potential that lies within? How do we take them and help them flourish? How do we help them live their best lives and bring out the most in themselves and live to their highest potential? How do we help them get from zero to 10, 20, and 100? That's the positive psychology movement. They're really focused on strengths. And what Martin Seligman and his, his partners did is they looked back in history and they looked at like Conf Confucius, Buddhism, um, Aristotle, and what all of those types of science and religion and philosophy were saying was that a life lived well was a life lived in virtue, was a virtuous life. And so they took those six virtues from way back then, which I don't have the list right here. Oh wait, I do, awesome. So there's six core virtues, and those core, core virtues, sorry, wisdom and knowledge, courage, love and humanity, uh, justice, temperance, and spirituality and transcendence. So what they did with those six core virtues is they established an assessment to measure where people's kind of natural strengths are. Which of those core virtues do I have a kind of a gift for, you know, to live them in, in um, action in my daily life? And those six virtues were broken into 24 different things he called character strengths or our signature strengths. And so it's about a two to three hundred question survey that helps us identify what are our top signature strengths. So you take this test, it's free by the way, and I'll provide the link below. Uh, it's at AuthenticHappiness.com. Again, that's AuthenticHappiness.com. And you take this test, it gives you a printout of all 24 signature strengths, what I want you to do is just focus on the top five. And what that does is it identifies, again, the ones that come naturally to you. And it doesn't mean you don't value the other virtues or the other character strengths. As a matter of fact, we may value them quite, quite a bit and find partners to kind of help us with that. But these are the ones that come naturally for us. So imagine when you were a child and you had a crayon placed in your hand, you kind of had a natural preference to either use, either use your left hand or your right hand. Well, the same is true for these character strengths, these signature strengths, these virtues in action. We have a preference for them. And what Martin Seligman and his team found is that if we can find ways to express those virtues and live those strengths in action on a daily basis, 
uh, we'll be happier, we'll be more fulfilled. And to really take that to the next level, if we can live within alignment within those top five signature strengths and use them in greater service to the world, then we're going to have authentic happiness. And that's that soul satisfying success I was referring to earlier. So I'm going to provide the link below. Feel free to head over there, check it out. Um, identify your top five. Again, we just want to focus on top five. We're not focusing on weaknesses. Uh, what research is saying over and over and over again, to live a happy and fulfilling life, you want to focus on your strengths. Now, we're not completely ignoring them, but what we want to do is play in that sweet spot more frequently. So what are our strengths? What are the things that come naturally to us? What are the things that we value and we enjoy doing? Now, next, once you've identified those top five, start to think about how can I use these more consistently? How can I use these on a daily basis, these five signature strengths of mine? Then, go out and do it. Rock it. And the last piece, be happy and more fulfilled because you'll be experiencing more satisfying success. That is the end of five minutes. What I'd like to do, though, is just share a little bit of a story about the power of these virtues. I used to work at uh, Spokane County Juvenile Courts. I was a court-appointed advocate for abused and neglected kids in the community. And um, what's interesting about that is I lasted about nine to ten months in that job. It actually, um, for lack of better wor words, it killed me. It totally was gut-wrenching, soul-sucking work um, for me. And so here's what's interesting. I have a passion and I have an interest for kids, okay? I was good at my job as a guardian at litem. The judges loved me, my supervisor, the social workers. I did a good work for the kids, right? I was good at it. And I got paid to do it and talk about a contribution or a service. This is important work. I think it's absolutely critical to our communities, to these kids, and to these families, right? But it was gut-wrenching and soul-sucking, and I hated it. I freaking hated it. I couldn't figure out why. I thought I was a failure. I thought something was wrong with me. Well, then when I went back and looked at these signature strengths after I had quit working there, you know, trying to explore what the hell happened to me and what was wrong with me, this was the second time I took this strength finder thing, by the way. I've taken it three times. You learn a lot from it, and what's interesting is as they pop up for you, you'll see them kind of flip and flop a little bit, but they never change. It's usually the top five to seven. They're all real similar. They just kind of flop a little bit. So my very top strength is curiosity and interest in the world, and I mentioned that in a video earlier. So knowing that one of my top strengths is a curiosity and interest in the world, how can I get paid to learn? How can I get paid to continuously learn and be curious about people, be curious about the world? Um, one of the things I do every single day is I start my day with an AM ritual, and part of that AM ritual offers me a chance to learn. So I'll either read 20 pages from a book that I'm working through, I'll read a success article, I'll listen to an Atheos Academy class, which is usually about 20 to 30 minutes long, or I'll watch some sort of TED talk or something, something that inspires me, something that I can learn from. And so I'm fulfilling that deep desire of mine and that natural strength of mine and that curiosity in the world. And so it helps me start the day off already feeling good. Going back to that job at Spokane County, it was, it was uh, interesting, you know, I had a passion for kids, I was good at it, it was in greater service to the world, um, but my second signature strength, and this is where it gets funky, is fairness, equity, and then my fifth signature strength is forgiveness and mercy. So what was killing me was that I was having to basically tell these parents, you're done, parental rights are over. And yet, one of my top signature strengths, one of my top five out of 24, is forgiveness and mercy. And that goes against my unique being. That goes against my soul. That goes against my heart. And so, it was actually killing me. And what was interesting is that when I would describe it to people, and I'd say, oh man, it's just killing me. I was actually holding my gut and holding my heart every time I would describe it. And we can learn that from ourselves. Pay attention to how you describe things and where you touch your body because it'll indicate, it'll give you messages and signs that you're out of alignment, you're out of truth, you're out of integrity with who you are, your natural gifts and service to the world. That job was not for me. It's important work, but it's not for me. And there's somebody else that can be doing it who is aligned with their signature strengths. So they're doing what they love, they're loving what they do, and greater service to the world. Wasn't me. Um, it actually went against 
my soul. And I can, I honestly believe it had almost, I don't know, played a huge part in my back and breaking my back and ended up with surgery and being sick and gaining lots of weight and everything with thyroid problems after that. So I was really internalizing a lot of this stuff because I was like, what the hell's wrong with me? But then when we discover our core signature strengths, which is our unique truth, and it goes against that, it's going to feel like we're dying inside. And so that's the power of these signature strengths. I encourage you to go check it out. And if you're feeling it, you're digging it, um, share with us what your top five are and maybe ways that we might be able to help support you in applying those on a daily basis. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you guys have an awesome first day of summer and uh, more to come. Love you guys. Bye.